on this computer. All right, let me go live on Facebook. All right, give me a second, it should be working. Oh yeah. All right, guys, we are live. So we're in Facebook land. Uh, Dean, Rich, welcome to the call. Um, today I'm really excited because uh, I'm, I'm good friends with Dean here, we're partners. And uh, Dean is uh, joined forces with Mr. Rich Adamski, uh, leaving Remax and coming over to EXP. And the word is out now, Rich, welcome. The word is out. I'm excited to be part of the EXP family and in your downline as well, as well as uh, right underneath Dean Clark. That's right. That's right, guys. So um, so without further ado, let me just uh, introduce Rich, because, you know, what I love about these guys and, and myself, you know, for the last, you know, 10 years plus, um, we've been in a circle uh, over at the Mike Ferry organization. Um, but Rich is uh, he's got a very small team, which is really cool. They're doing over 100 transactions. There's about four of you on the team, Rich, and 80% uh, of that is, is Rich. So he's uh, a top listing agent, did over 80 units in the last 12 months, um, just a rock star real estate agent, and now um, looking to uh, grow a team. And Rich, you were with Remax for seven years and, and decided that model wasn't conducive to building a team. So let's talk about um, you know just your transition from uh, Remax over to EXP and, and why you decided to go that route. Yeah, they, absolutely. So first of all, the transition from EXP, I'm sorry, from Remax to EXP was actually very easy. It was so much more streamlined than I actually thought it was going to be. EXP is a very nice company. It's a very nice corporation, especially how like once this is triggered, everything else down the line is just like automation. So that's fantastic. So it was very nice to actually see and be able to feel. Uh, but yes, uh, I decided to take, you know, forces with Dean and as well as join the EXP family and the Freedom Builders family, uh, simply because I see more benefits with EXP. I see more that is offered on the team side and you have more, I don't want to say the word freedom, but you have the more, you know, you're the brokerage, right? In a way, but you're a team leader without owning the actual brokerage. So mm -hmm. I see there's so much opportunity with EXP with all the way down from profit sharing, all the way down to low fees to be a part of the organization, as opposed to with Remax, you're a little bit uh, strapped, right? You know, it's from the, it's from the top down where, it, where they build out their model, right? So with Remax, you know, it's very, I don't want to say they kind of want to keep you down, but necessarily it's this, the EXP has such a better opportunity. Yeah, it wasn't, I was with Remax for nine years. It's just, it's not built for teams. It's built for that individual mm -hmm. 10 to 12 deal a year producer. Um, and I always tell the agents on my team, when you think about even, even brokerages poo-poo teams, because the money's not in team building. Like they don't want, you know, they don't want my team at Remax selling eight, 900 homes a year because that's that's dragging down their admin department. It just doesn't work. So they'd rather keep you as an individual agent. Um, so Dean, talk a little bit about, you know, you've known Rich for years. You guys always wanted to work together on a business, but obviously you both being top producers, you yourself, that's never going to happen, right? I mean, that was, well, that was it. I mean, that was the big, we were trying to find a solution for years. They're like, okay, well, how can we work together? Right. But not for each other. And it was like, how do we get not, not only financially aligned and, and business aligned and everything else. And all the, and then once we peel back the hood of EXP as a, as a potential solution after, you know, the rich and, and you guys know, even for me, I, I looked at like six to seven other brokerages models and everything else, even starting my own thing. You know, and just go in that direction and nothing made sense at the end of the day. It was just like, okay, how much time you have in this business and everything. And so EXP was the solution. And I'm glad that, you know, Rich, uh, he was going to make the decision later in the year, but then it decided that it was actually, um, it just, it just made more sense to just do it, just do it now because 
you know, why not, right? So yeah. Yeah. And, it's gonna and, it's gonna allow passively to to build teams too, right? Like you were okay. talking about pass passive income and just being able to work on what we want to work on too. So that that's a big feature of why it happened now versus towards the end of the year. Yeah. Well, and let's talk about that passive thing, because because we just before we we you know got on on Facebook, you know we all met through Emily Brown, who Emily Brown is the number one agent on my team. She'll earn seven hundred thousand dollars this year on a team fifty fifty split. She's a rock star. Mm-hmm. She sells eighty units. The thing That's is, awesome. she's out there selling real estate. She doesn't want to have a team. She doesn't want to do what we're doing, right? So we all want a team. We want a team ridge. I always call it a team ridge. It's not a brokerage. It, it's a team ridge. And here we're all under her as well, right? She, she made the connections and we're, she's, she's growing a team and she's got two rock stars on her team, which she's right under me. So we're all now working together, connected. What mm-hmm. kind of, think about that, that model that you can give your agents on your team that are helping you guys grow because my family is fed by people like Emily, right? I mean, let's be real. And it's a, it's a, it's a concept, but how great that we can gift our agents on our teams an opportunity to own a brokerage and not have to do the the hustle and bustle and the risk output that we we do. I mean, that's just amazing to me. That's it. It's crazy. It's crazy. I, so, I don't th- I don't think there's any uh, any other company out there that will allow you to do that, right? No. To to put people in the same room, meet people through some type of networking event or some type of uh, training, and all of a sudden be in different states, but have of partners in different partners. states and be able to to build out your your team successfully and then wake up one morning or one quarter and look at your uh your bank account like all of a sudden there's some money in there for for yourself passively exactly passively yeah so so let's go back rich so when you started real estate 11 years ago right were you some powerhouse that sold 500 homes your first year probably not absolutely <laughs> absolutely not it actually took me uh 8 months to get my first sale believe Did it or really? not really Okay. Yeah. And, and that's when I um, came into coaching. And then uh, from eight, it's the last four, at the last four months of the year, I ended up doing 27 transactions somehow, but uh, it clicked at the very end and it clicked. It clicked. So you got lucky in your first year of real estate, you actually found the organization that all of us coached through and that shifted your business. Correct. That's awesome. So tell me what that shift looked like, because if there's an agent watching right now, we know that the average agent in the U.S. sells four to six homes a year. That's from the National Association of Realtors. We also know that the average agent that's been in the in the industry for a decade sells about 10 homes a year. So these are not top, top, top producers, but they're doing a decent business. What is the difference for you? Where was the shift? Because I think that happened with Dean and I. You went from selling nothing. You met the organization. And now t- tell me what the shift was to keep you successful in growing these last 11 years. Well, I, I took the the whole Mike Ferry approach, right? Which was 20% per year. And I remember Dean t- talking about that as well. And, yeah. you know, I do, I do believe that every agent should uh, focus on making 20% a year, year after year. And eventually from year one to year 10, you know, let's say you started 10 transactions by year 10, you should be able to be doing 60 to 80 transactions. But if you take, if you peel back all those exact layers, it's just learning your skills, learning your basis and learning your, your fundamentals. And once you be able to be able to craft around that, you should be able to not just do 20%. You should be able to jump up 30, 40, 50%, right? You should be able to take that, take that exact, exact leap. And if, you know, my head coach, quote unquote, Mike Ferry, right? And he, he teaches us exactly what to do. So from year one to year 10 to year 11, where we're at, yeah, it's been a slow trajectory, but I finally clicked maybe years six, year seven, around that time period is when I really started listening to, to Mike and shift over to the listening side to get a little bit more freedom to be able to not go on a listen appointment that's going to take four or five, six, seven, 10 hours, which is on the buyer side, but we all have to have a healthy pendulum at the end of the day when you're shifting your business anyways. So that, you know, the trajectory from year one, I think that from year two to five to seven is really just skill-based and really just being able to understand that you have to put the work in. Yeah. So Dean, what do you think the difference is between, for you two, it was the same thing. What do you think for you, for Rich, for myself, what's the differentiator that we actually stuck to it? Because how many people come to Tom Ferry, Mike Ferry, all the coaches out there, and they just don't stick to it. Like, what do you think the stickiness is? We, um, 
like on a personal basis to like stick to what they teach, right? That's the question. I mean, yeah, this yeah. Is, it's, it's, we have a big enough why, in my opinion, like our, our reasons for doing what we're doing is, is beyond like the day-to-day -day grind, in my opinion, that it, that it, that it takes. Cause there's no way that you, I are rich. Like we're all working like dogs every single day to try to put food on the table for our families and everything. But why would we do this business in that way? It's because, well, we just, our why is so big. We have so, we have, our goals are, and dreams are outrageous. And so if you don't have an outrageous goal or outrageous dreams, then this is a horrible business to be in. Then don't do this. <laughs> like yeah. it just, yeah. you know what I mean? But, uh, but, but when you, uh, I don't know, in that, that's why, and that's the thing with, with, with really with uh, Rich that I've always respected it. He's, I've never seen someone more committed and more disciplined than, and, and like, and then to have that at someone that's only an hour away from me mm -hmm. is like even better. So like, <laughs> we just vibe on that. Like it's, it, you know, it's about these like vibrations and energy in life. And it's like, that's the one thing him and I have always done is like, he just gets me and I get him. And it's like, we all get each other. Cause we're all just like moving this train to this next, to this next destination. So. Yeah. It's like a, it's a growth mindset. I think that hunger, yeah. like, I don't think the hunger ever goes away because, you know, I'm at a point where I can just shut it all down and go, I'm just going to live off the rev share because it's pretty darn good. Right. But I, I just became more efficient with what I was doing. So you guys are looking at that same thing. How do I teach the agent right now? The avatar for you guys is how do I teach an agent that's either 10 deals to 15, 20 deals? How do I teach them to become a top producer like you guys? And then you guys are going, well, how we're already here. We we've hit the, the top max capacity, hundred deals a year. Like that's a lot of transactions. It's a lot of a handholding maintenance. Like it's a lot of work. How do I then take two highly efficient people and move them into the, the operations role where you guys are now behind the scenes working your magic? You're still working all day, but now you're helping so many more. So talk about that, Rich, like your vision with Dean being an hour away. I think you, you both can really bring a lot to the table for agents that decide to partner with you. And New York right now is not very big for EXP. I mean, you guys are pretty much growing this thing from the ground up. And, and that's that's what part of the reason why I want to join now and not waste because I, I remember five six years ago when EXP some some it was an I think Dean had some uh, experience where somebody on the other end was an EXP agent had no idea what this was I thought it was a fly by ship uh, company I was like all right this company's never never gonna last and I remember thinking about it I needed the brand and everything like that and all of a sudden you know fast track you know seven years later all of a sudden you know, we're here and then we're, we're part of this amazing company. Uh, but to, to answer your question exactly, it is, I see, what's, what's the correct way I want to, I want to word this. Um, like j just in terms of like the real estate, the average realtor, like you said, 40, 48 transactions and how could we help grow them? I think is by holding people accountable. I think by showing them exactly what to do, exactly how to do it, I think that it's going to be able to be be able to give that one-on-one, -on -one, right? Mm -hmm. And the fact that Dean and I are only an hour apart away, that it makes it very easy, easy for us to be like, hey, listen, let's go meet over here and let's go do a mastermind, right? But maybe now instead of doing the mastermind with just him and I, it's going to be like, all right, now we're going to get your team, we're going to get my team, because we're going to figure out how to bridge this gap between the hour between where we are and where he is, how can we fill that gap between between us? So we can never refer out anybody other than people that are a team. So we can give more opportunity for the people that are on our team. Be like, hey, listen, now we have a bigger territory than where we currently are. And it's more territory, I believe, more opportunity, more opportunity creates more transactions, more transactions create better mentorship, better systems, better structure. And then we can kind of, as we're going through the motions, together and then dean and i can sit behind the scenes and be like all right this worked this didn't work now this worked now let's build off of this and then we can come to you and be like hey tina what would you suggest you know should we suggest here xyz and then you can help build it out on the back end with us so then when we give it to the agent the agents can be able to be extremely successful because we've already been through the trenches 
Now we're going through the new trenches with them. And then once we figure out all of that information, then we're able to really build a successful agent to get them to that 25, 50, 75 transactions and still be on a team and take all that guesswork out of it for them to be like, hey, listen, just go sell real estate. That's all you got to do. Yeah, I love that because that's the thing. It's the guesswork. People go, I'm not, or they might see something, but they don't understand the capacity or the, how long it takes or that they have to embrace repetitious boredom or, you know, it's kind of boring getting rich. That's why I tell people, you guys are overcomplicating it. But the reality is you are helping that agent just as I can help you guys go, hey, this is where we are with our team. You know, we've got a blueprint. We've made a lot of mistakes, but we're highly profitable because you also hear teams aren't profitable. That's BS. They are profitable if you run your PL correctly, if you don't get ego in the way and want to be on every billboard, like it actually does work. And I think that I think that, you know, that's where we all can help each other kind of bring it around. And the one misconception that I'll say, you know, a lot of people think, oh, EXP, all they do is recruit. Actually, we're the number one independent brokerage now in the nation. We have the most agents, the most transactions anywhere on the planet. We sell a lot of real estate. I never wanted to get out of the business at all. I love the business. In fact, I could retire. Like I said, I could go live in Tahiti and spend the money. It's not about that. It's about changing the capacity, changing your position right now from literally the top agent in your business owner, right? So you guys have both titles to go completely to operations and operator where you guys are the investors in your business and you're helping all these agents grow. And that's the beauty. It's like, we don't want to step out. Yeah, sure. We want passive, but is it really passive? No, I'm still working right? It's not passive, but it's it's adding a, a, a division to your entire world that you didn't have before. You didn't have that other yeah. income coming in, the owner pay. I call it owner pay. So we get to be paid <laughs> owners. So, um, so let's real quick, let's talk about your phone animals group, because I think that you guys are doing a fantastic thing. Whoever wants to speak on that um, about helping agents grow, because I think agents should come and join your phone animals group. Or phone yeah. warriors? Is it phone warriors or phone phone, phone warriors? Yeah. Phone warriors. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Talk about that. Phone, phone yeah. animals is, is, a, is a good phone segue. Phone animals. Phone warriors. Same one. thing. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are um, animals. <laughs> yeah, and 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 congrats to Rich. He's he's officially an admin now at the phone warrior group. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it it was really it was really started because um, you know we as partners like we we talked about this at the end of last year what. What can we start in this light? By the way, Phone Warriors was created because of EXP. I just want to yes. put that out there. Okay. And how amazing is that, right? Like we had, we had to create something of value to the marketplace for agents to say, okay, well, what are we, what, what do we, what can we share? But also what can agents gravitate towards? And this, um, and what is now literally within a, what Rich, it's been like four or five months, I think of doing this mm -hmm. consistently. Yeah. Yeah. And and now we're at like almost 250 members, and Close on to. average, 15 to 20 of us are on on the uh, even right now. It's going on right now as we speak. We literally just we were just prospecting expires, and we just got off to do this. To do this, they're um, losing money right now. They're losing. Money. <laughs> <laughs> so we are. Rich, we are. If you want to, so Rich, talk about um, what have you seen with the phone warriors and like what what that looks like for you because. Um, it's been exciting to like to go on this journey with you with this group and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us what people would yeah. expect because I'm gonna post the link for Phone Warriors so so we can bring more agents in the group. But tell them what to expect when they're in there. What are, what are you guys doing in there behind the scenes? That's uh phone phone warrior was was great. You know, originally it started with just Dean and I, just just to have like a, a you know, somebody to prospect with you. Cause like you said, it gets boring when you're kind of doing this for hours in a day. Um and then um and then that's how I Emily joined, and then we had a couple other people, and then you know Dean went over TXP, and then Dean you know Bloom Phone Warriors out, out of the waters, and it it's great, you know value you know valuable people, you know once a week we have somebody that comes on that that creates some type of value for us, um, oh it's basically a special guest, but the the real day to day is is to know that you're not by yourself, right? That there's other people out there that are hungry, there's other people out there that have similar goals to you or, or crazier goals than you, right? But it's just to know that, hey, listen, you want to prospect at 8 a.m., there's going to be somebody on the Eastern Standard Time, there's going to be somebody there at 8 a.m., whether it's two, four, or five people. If you want to prospect at 5 p.m., we have West Coast people in there as well. 
There's going to be people there. So no matter what time of the day you want to prospect and you don't want to feel by yourself because you're in your office by yourself or you're at home working by yourself, it's to know that other people are there. Other people are going to be listening to you. Other people are going to be putting things in the chat. You could have a little a breakout room and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation and be like, hey, listen, I heard what you said over here, but if I were you, I would say this. Right. And it, it's just all knowledge and all happiness. And people are just helping people that want to actually get better. Now we want to, you know, we have people in there that do zero transactions and we have people in there doing over 150 transactions that are, that are in there. So yeah. there's a wealth of knowledge in there. There's people that are going to hold you accountable. And at the end of the day, you have your, your three leaders, myself, Dean and Emily that are always on there and we're always willing to help and we're always willing to share all of our knowledge. So it's, it's nothing but knowledge base, accountability and prospecting any type of source, whatever you want to prospect, that's what's going on. I love it. I love it. And that, that group to me is like consistency times action equals success in the business. And what I love is if I'm an agent and I go, how do I prospect or how do I stay motivated? Because I remember when I started with the scripts, it was like, I would sweat and I would second guess myself. I would hang up on people early. If I had this group 15 years ago, when I started with Mike Ferry, my God, I would have been over the moon because it's scary. It's lonely. And you're like, am I messing up? How am I doing it better? So I could actually, as an agent, go into phone warriors and watch you guys do what you are so good at doing, making hundreds and hundreds of thousands, almost a million dollars a year. And I could just go watch you for free. Like that is insane to me and get inspired by you day after day after day. Um, if you guys are not in that group, you should join that group. And I'm going to put the link in our comments so you guys can and join I and, and Tina, I think also what's also interesting is that it, it we and little little did we know this. Like we started the group at probably the perfect time we could have started it. It was at the yeah. end of the year. It was yeah. when everyone was get, gearing up for the getting their goals for the next year and everything like that. I didn't even think about this. We just decided, hey, this is just let's just like you know start this thing. Let's just see what happens. And um, but what's funny is that isn't it funny how the coaches they so we know Mike Ferry obviously he's always looking for you know prospecting going out there and doing that. So he attracts a certain population there. But what's funny, I recently went to another event. And, and, and so this other event talked a lot about marketing and like all these different things. But then he threw in there, but you always got to make a call. Or you, always exactly. get, you always have the prospect. Exactly. So it always somehow in this business, it always leads back to prospecting at a high level or getting on the phone and physically to with someone. somebody, <laughs> talking to people. So right. if that's the case, this is what the group is designed for is to help you through that. And, um, and yeah, so I and mean, you know that's that, literally what it is. I, I love that because, you know, I, I like all the social media people, like I get it. I'm on social media. We have 50,000 followers and all our different channels and all the stuff. But at the end of the day, if you're going to call people and get a transaction, which every day I know, I, I knew I could go make $10,000 a day selling real estate. I, Cause I pick up the phone. I talked to 15 people and I made a sale at some point. If I'm on social media or I'm waiting for people to come to me, sure, marketing works, but I still have to be, like you said, really good at conversion because somebody's going to call in. And here's a perfect example. I just spent $4,000 a month for the last year and a half in these neighborhoods to, to blanket the neighborhood with this beautiful flyer. Here, this beautiful flyer, nice. right? That's four pages. You spent all this money. And guess how many listings we got? after $4,000 every month for a year and a half? One. One. <laughs> <laughs> so so here's my, my message to everybody. Sure, go market. Go do it. It works, right? I got a listing. Spend $4,000 for the next year, which is another 50 grand to get one listing. I'm still in the hole with this thing. And I never did marketing, but you know, I listened to other agents. And like, you got to do it. it. It really works. Yeah, after two, three years, it works to get my name out. But I can't, I can't live off this, this thing. I can't live off that sort of marketing. It's never going to work. If I want to be rich, I have to do what you guys do. If I want to be average, I can do this. That's wow. And, and you're absolutely right. That's, um, that's kind of a uh, passively, right? We, we, we talk about passive income from EXP. That's passively hoping a wish and a prayer 15 to yeah, 30 call. months down the 30 months down the road. Like you said, you pick up a phone, you talk to 15 people, you made a sale for $10,000. I think that was a more highly use of your skills and your knowledge to be able to do that day after day exactly. versus in, in, in a week, you can make $50,000 versus spend $50,000 and exactly. you know, six I mean, months. 
And it drives me nuts when social media gurus are like, cold calling is dead. You don't want a cold call. I'm like, everything's a cold call. In fact, the warmest call that you can call is somebody who's raising their hand as a FISBO saying, I want to sell my home. How much warmer can it get? Or an I mean, expired... I I mean, I would actually argue that a just sold call is just as warm as an expired because this if I'm warm. calling the neighbor of a recent sale, I mean, come on, guys. Come on. Like, <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. So it like it makes no sense. But you got to remember, what are they trying to sell us? A program? You know, they know that the weak spot of agents is picking up the phone and calling. So if I'm going to sell you my shiny object program and tell you how not to pick up the phone and then this program is going to save your life, I would put our phone warriors group, right? The people in there up against any other average agent that's leaned on social media, the actual stats, hands down. I mean, it's like- Well, I mean, and also Rich, if you want to talk, I mean, we even have a um, a guy in the group, um, uh, Dan from Virginia. I mean, he literally, and I asked him off the record. I said like, hey, this phone warriors group, and are you liking it? You're getting value? Like what, I just want to get a read from, from certain people that are consistent with us. And, um, and, you know, Rich saw this too. I mean, he literally went from taking two to three listings a month consistently, Mike Ferry agent, and literally had his first eight listings taken a month in, in April. That's and then I said, and I said, well, what do you think it was? Like, what it was it? He goes, it was ever since I got invited to this group, I saw what, you, what <laughs> we were all doing. And I, and I was like blown away. I was like, this is awesome. Like, we got to keep doing this. Because it's accountability. You got, Do you know how much money we've paid for coaching through the years to get this? This is accountability every day. You could not pay a coach to show up every day and watch you prospect for two hours. It's You couldn't afford it. So what you guys are bringing, I mean, it's it's amazing to the industry. I watched Emily grow. I mean, she's, you know, Emily had 10 closings last week. Yeah, yeah, that, that was, I mean, that was unbelievable. I'm, making I'm so 80 grand in a week, like that's crazy. Yeah. And that's on a team. So yeah. I, I'm yeah. very proud of her. I'm proud of you guys. I think you guys are going to bring so much value to the industry. Um, I'm excited to pass the baton. You know, I've built what I needed to build. I just love being a, a, a guide now. Um, you guys can pick my brain and be like, how much, how should I do this? And I'm like, no, I've done it 13 different ways. I've messed up. Here's what's working. And that just helps. You guys are doing that with agents. So um, I'm excited for this partnership, guys. I, I can't wait to watch you, Rich, grow. Dean's already, you know, growing the team and and uh, this Phone Warriors group. So welcome to EXP. Welcome to the family. And uh, I'm always yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm My excited. Man. Another mother finally here. Here we go. <laughs> finally here. He's Our finally fun. here. <laughs> All finally, right, I'm excited. I'm excited to be in your downline. So thank you. You're so welcome. I'll see you guys soon. And uh, until the next time. All right. Take care. Bye. Bye, guys.